guys, welcome back. I am behind on my blazer, and so I thought I would do a very quick review of my latest make, which is the Lander Pant by True Bias. This is available in a PDF or printed pattern. I opted for the PDF because I'm impatient. Um, I saw this pattern on Instagram. I think it's only been out a couple weeks, and I just loved how it looked, and I decided to uh, just take the plunge and go ahead and make it. So I put the pattern together and cut out my fabric yesterday. I totally broke the rules with the fabric on this one. It calls for a bottom weight twill or denim and I actually used a plum wool gabardine. This is one of the fabrics I showcased in my fall wardrobe planning video. I bought five yards of this fabric when I first started sewing close to six years ago at this point and I had two and a half yards left and I decided I wanted a pair of purple pants. So I uh, bucked the tradition with that. Um, a few things that I love about this pattern, just right off the bat, I cut a size 14, um, which had a 35 and a half inch waist and I believe a 44 to 45 inch hip. And all I had to do was take in the waist a little bit and, um, and they look beautiful. And I also love that we have a we have a, a button fly here. Mine is actually reversed, uh, so the the fly is actually supposed to be on the other side. But I accidentally interfaced the wrong side for the for the uh, shield, and I just decided to reverse it because I at that point didn't care. Um, this is a very easy pattern, I think, for beginners. I've made pants before, I've made coats before, I've made a lot of difficult projects, but the instructions are very, very detailed and they're very intuitive. I think most seamstresses get really worried when you see anything like a button placket or you see a, a fly front with a zipper or you know anything that's not just a front and a back and a zipper and a waistband and kind of freaks us out. But this is actually pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you have the left fly, and then you have a fly shield, and then you have buttonholes, and then you attach your buttons, and then you're done. Um, I did have trouble with the waistband. I don't know if it's because of the, I don't know if the fabric shrunk a little bit when I applied the interfacing. So I cut another waistband and actually created like a center back seam, um, and then I followed the rest of the directions to finish it out. I went ahead and added the front pockets, which I really like. And I used a cotton lawn, uh, a quatrefoil, I think is what it's called, quatrefoil, um, cotton lawn for the pocket lining. And uh, I really love how these pockets look. I opted not to put on the back pocket. Um, I knew I wanted this to be sort of like a dress trouser and the back pocket looked more denim twill casual to me. So I opted to leave that off. I also, um, I added some interfacing at a couple other points. So they're, they call for interfacing right here around this pocket edge. And obviously the fly has interfacing, but I went ahead and added interfacing to the fly shield, or the right fly rather, um, which is this pattern piece. Um, just because I wanted, I wanted the, the actual um, fly and crotch area to have a little bit more stability especially with the drapiness of the wool. I also added some twill tape at the waistline. Let's see if I can show you that here. So I ran the twill tape um, along my seam line there just to add a little bit more um, security and heft there. Uh, so that when these hang, because wool can, tends to be pretty heavy, even if it's lightweight, um, if you have a whole pant leg of wool, it's still going to be heavy. So I went ahead and added the twill tape. Um, the leg, I definitely am going to need to shorten these because I'm short, but only by a couple inches. So I'm going to go ahead and follow her directions to turn up, um, I think half an inch or a quarter of an inch, and then turn up again two inches for the pants. Overall though, this was super simple uh, to put together. Her PDF pattern is very efficient, meaning that there's not a lot of paper waste, which I love. Um, and the directions are super intuitive and super detailed. So even if you've never made pants before, I think this is a great pattern to start with. 
And I'm also, since I love the fit of it, I love the high waist with the waistband and a leg that's not just completely uh, gargantuan. I don't know what the leg opening is here. Um, but some patterns, you know, you find a, a wide leg pant and the leg opening at the bottom is just terribly huge. And if you're short like me, it just looks terrible. So this looks to be, I'm not going to really eyeball it. It looks to be under 20 inches wide, which I, which I really like. Um, so it's, it's not going to overwhelm me. So I'm actually going to play around with this pattern and do some different things with it. I'm going to make a pair without this front pocket because I think it looks more casual with the pocket. I'm going to play around with just making this a front center seam and doing a back zip. Um, I might actually take a little bit off the leg and the hip uh, based on how these wear. You know, whenever you make a garment, you always want to wear it out of the house for at least a day, and that's why we make a wearable muslin. Um, if you're like me, I hate making muslins, and sometimes I regret that, but I always want to be able to wear whatever I make. So this, this I'm going to trial and wear out and then decide how much do I want to take off the hip, how much do I need to take off the leg, um, you know, what details do I like. I think I'm going to like this front pocket quite a bit. I don't know. I don't usually make pockets. Um, but anyway, this is just, it's been a really great experience. I put this PDF together, I'll show you all these pieces. I put it together yesterday and um, started on these last night while I was on the phone with my fiance. He's out of town. And I was able to work through all of this just with a few mistakes um, really, really easily. So I think it's a, I'm really, really excited about this pattern. And um, kudos to True Bias for uh, drafting something that is both versatile but also flattering universally. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will be posting finished garment photos on my Instagram account, at Modern Seamstress. You can follow me there. Um, and any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks, guys.